Welcome back to Passionate About Tech. Today, I'm going to show you how to save your computer and actually make it perform better than ever with Zorin OS 18, the best move you can make before parking obsolete Windows for good. Just because Microsoft says your hardware is unsupported because of TPM 2.0 doesn't mean your computer belongs in the trash. I'll guide you through the entire installation and initial setup. Let's get started. First, we need to download the Zorin OS ISO file. Open your web browser. In the search bar, type Zorin OS and hit enter. Click on the first official link to Zorin.com. On the home page, click the download button. You will see several versions, but for most users, the core edition is perfect and completely free. Click on download and select skip to download to start saving the file to your computer. This file is a few gigabytes, so let it finish while we prepare our next tool. While that is downloading, we need a tool to put that file onto a USB drive. Search for Belena Etcher in a new tab and click the first result. On the Belena homepage, scroll down and click the Download Etcher button. Under the Assets section, choose the version for Windows to download the installer. Install it, open it up, and grab a USB drive with at least 8 gigabytes of space. Remember, this will wipe your USB, so back up your files first. Inside Belena Etcher, click Flash from File and select your Zorin ISO. Then, click Select Target, choose your USB drive, and hit Flash. You might see a Windows security prompt. Just click Yes. This will take a few minutes to write the files and verify them. Once the USB is ready, it is time to boot from it. Keep the USB plugged in and restart your computer. Since I am using a Dell, I am going to tap the F2 key repeatedly as soon as the logo appears to enter the BIOS settings. If you are not using a Dell, you should search Google for your specific PC model plus BIOS key or boot menu key to find the right one for you. Inside the BIOS, find the Secure Boot option. This is very important. You must toggle Secure Boot to Disabled. Many systems will not allow a Linux installer to run if this is turned on. Save your changes and exit. Immediately start tapping your boot menu key. For my Dell, that is the F12 key. When the menu appears, select your USB drive and press Enter. You will see a Zorin boot menu. Use your arrow keys to select Try or Install Zorin OS and hit Enter. The system will load and you will see two big options. Always choose Try Zorin OS first. This lets you test your Wi-Fi, your sound, and your keyboard without changing anything on your hard drive yet. It is the honest way to make sure everything works perfectly. If everything looks good, click the icon on the desktop that says Install Zorin OS 18. The installer will guide you through. Select English as your language and click Continue. Next is the keyboard layout screen. I am selecting English US for both columns. It will ask if you want to connect to the internet. If you have Wi-Fi, go ahead and connect now, but you can also skip this if you want to finish faster. Now we reach the Updates and Other Software screen. This part is key for a great experience. Make sure you check the box that says Download Updates while installing Zorin OS. This is a huge time saver because it grabs the latest fixes and patches while the PC is already busy installing, so you don't have to wait around later. Also, absolutely make sure the box for Install Third-Party Software for Graphics and Wi-Fi Hardware and Additional Media Formats is checked. This ensures your PC can play all types of video and that your drivers are ready to go from the very first boot. Click Continue. Now for the installation type. Select Erase Disk and Install Zorin OS. Click Install Now and then click Continue to confirm the partition changes. Select your location on the map to set your time zone and click Continue. Finally, enter your name Give your computer a name and create a username and a strong password. Click Continue. The installation will now begin copying files. This usually takes about 10 to 15 minutes. 
When it is finished, a prompt will tell you to restart. Click Restart Now and pull the USB drive out of your computer when prompted. Welcome to your new desktop! A welcome screen will pop up. For now, click No Thanks to close it. The final and most important step is to check for updates. Open the Zorn menu and in the search bar, type Software Updater. Click on it and it will automatically scan for the latest security patches and driver improvements. If it finds any, click Install Now. Your system is now fully up to date and ready for action. Thank you so much for watching. I hope Zorn OS makes your old PC feel brand new. If you have any questions about the installation, drop them in the comments below. Stay passionate about tech, and I will see you in the next video.